All right, so intra, uh, it was like, it was a long process to even um, get ready to, to record this one because basically I really intended for the last mixtape, which was Duality, to be the last mixtape, period, anything. Like I wasn't even going to record again. I was, I was actually going to, I was going to sell all my stuff, all my equipment. Um, I don't know who kind of keeps track of my, you know, the things I post and everything. But basically, you know, I kind of had enough of everything. You know, I, I really had walked away from my label, you know. Um, I walked away from performing because basically I had to, like, focus on my son and my family, you know, because when you're out there and you're performing and everything, you know, everything seems cool and, you know, you're meeting people and you're going places, but... You know, for the most part, you're not really making any money. I mean, I know tons of artists. I mean, even big, you know, super huge artists, they don't make a lot of money until, you know, years down the road when they start getting uh, their paperwork in order. But basically, I had to choose between, you know, my son living, you know, in someone's basement or in a hotel and, you know, catching a school bus from a hotel or, or you know, just focusing on him and making sure that his life is better. So I walked away from that side of the of the business because I couldn't keep doing it anymore. Um, it was just putting a strain on his development, and he was about to start school. And, uh, you know, being a father and raising a son, you know, it's, you, you could say, like, oh, man, you know, go for it, and maybe it'll work out, and he'll have millions and he'll be living the lavish life as a kid, but like most people don't end up like that. Most kids don't. And you know, I don't want him to be uh, a casualty of my dream, you know what I mean? Um, but either way, you know, I kind of had, I kind of had walked away from music and the main part that had me frustrated and that kind of made me lose my motivation in recording and making music was because once you get into music and really, you know, like, once you really get into it, you know, start performing and, and get into the real business of things, you start to realize how much is manipulated and how much uh, money has to do with everything and relationships. And basically, long story short is, if you don't have a, a person financing your operation or you don't have, if you're not with your label anymore, you're not with those people that pull those strings... Basically, it's like the lights are cut out. You know, you can make a great song and, you know, most people will never hear it. You know, you don't hear a song until they want you to hear a song. You know, you hear it on the radio and you think, oh, I'm just so special that I just happened to hear this song right now. But not really. You know, you heard that song because they wanted you to hear that song. You know, they, they, they did research. Um, you know, they, they got demographical research and they figure out when certain types of people listen to the radio, when certain type of people are online, what you're doing online. Um, and they pinpoint you and they figure out how to market towards you. But if you're not, if you're an artist and you know, you're not in that regime anymore and you kind of walk away and you don't want to really do the things the label wants you to do, you don't want to do the, that, uh, that legwork anymore. You're, you're cast off to the side. So your music doesn't get heard anymore. Your face doesn't get seen anymore. You know, so that's kind of where I was at. And I was frustrated because I knew that with all the music I have inside of me, that no matter what I did, no one would ever really appreciate it ever again because my decision to focus on my son and my life. Uh, so I kind of like, I don't know, I kind of went through it there because, I mean, literally between the ages of, you know, 15, 16 and you know, 28, I was doing music, you know, and definitely um, between the ages of like 23 and 28, you know, that was just like full on. I mean, I would work, do online school, record music and take care of my son. That was it. Uh, I mean, every single day, you know, and you don't understand the type of work and dedication that goes into that. So when when you realize that the the you know proverbial dream is over, it like rocks you. And I kind of had that moment, and I was just like, you know, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna I'm gonna wash my hands of music, and I'm gonna do duality, and that's gonna be it. But I gave it time, uh, you know, 
usually I would I would drop new music like every month, every two, three months. But you know, I really gave it time and 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 intra kind of just came to me organically. I didn't really force it. I wasn't even like pressing myself like, all right, I'm gonna do this mixtape and it's gonna release and blah 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 date and I gotta have it done by, you know. I just finally decided I was gonna make music and I didn't really give a damn whether or not anybody heard it or not. I was just gonna make it and it's not gonna be on the radio. It's not gonna be on TV. You know, you, you're not gonna hear your friends gossiping about it or talking about it. But it's just good music. And and you know, when I first started making music before I got signed and before I was on the radio and stuff, I always the only thing that kept me going was I kept telling myself, you know, whenever I felt like man I should just quit, I would always say, man, you know, good music is undeniable. Um, and I still believe that. You know, for a minute there, I got caught up in the whole, you know, if you're not getting put on the radio, then it doesn't matter. Or if you're not getting put out officially, it doesn't matter. But, you know, I realized back to the old days when the only thing that really matters is that I want to make this music, and I'm going to make it, and I'm giving it to you. So, you know, Intra, it's a great mixtape. You know, it sounds like an album, to be honest. But, you know, contractually, it's a mixtape, obviously. And, um, you know, that's that's actually another thing I forgot to mention, but one of the other things that frustrated me because, you know, like I said, I walked away from my label, but my label still owns me technically, you know what I mean? So when I first signed on with them, I requested to have a two album deal with uh, their last three albums being single options that were um, artist options. And I was pretty much told without being told that either take the five album deal or don't take anything. So, um, you know, I'm in a five album deal and technically I have not fulfilled that. So that's why this is a mixtape. So.